safe run by any means. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, is that better? Yep. Yeah. I'm so uh, it's uh, really not a marathon safe by any means. There's a lot of RNG. Uh, so here in the beginning, I'm gonna need uh, 13 heart drops to buy two items in the first town before it transitions to night. And yes. if I don't get enough hearts, um, I do have backup strats that will lose me about a minute and uh, 15 seconds. Uh, but uh, we hope for the best. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm do uh, one final reset before we begin here. Yeah, I'm um, uh, Kalex, by the way, and I will be uh, trying to commentate the run during some of the harder parts of the run. Oh, yeah. So, would you do the honors and start the timer? Of course. So, okay. I'll let you know. Now. Nice. So, welcome to uh, Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. That was two frame perfect tricks at the beginning. Um, That's a good way to start around. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're grinding. Uh, so this is kind of uh, Simon's curse right now. He uh, kind of needs to uh, farm a lot of hearts because um, basically for plot reasons he will need to revive Dracula uh, in a reasonable amount of time. And then eventually he will, uh, after reviving him, he will kill him. So there are five mansions in this game. Uh, five of which contain like plot items that are like Dracula's uh, parts. And uh, this way we'll eventually recombine Dracula together and fight him. Um, and the beginning is uh, rather difficult. I don't think you're really supposed to go this way, uh, but it, it does give a lot of hearts. And that is the farming strategy that uh, Burb was talking about. Uh, it's 107 right now, the timer, so yeah, that doesn't that was, seem... Uh, yeah, all right. a really bad grind. All right, we're going to backup strat land. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Um, so the thing here, uh, we needed uh, 100 hearts. Simon starts with uh, 50, and hearts are currency in this game. He's going to use them to buy uh, a white crystal, which is a very important plot item that will be used throughout the run. Uh, well, alright, that, that is the proper timing. The other 50 hearts would have been used to get holy water, and holy water is excessively useful. Uh, it will serve for uh, breaking some blocks that can only be broken by either one weird item or the holy water that is just like right there in the first town. And um, holy water also has some interesting properties, uh, i.e. it's broken. So. Uh, You'll see at some point that it can be used for quick kills, but uh, right now, uh, this is the farming strat for uh, yeah, zombies. Yeah, this is the backup grind if you fail the first one. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna grind here uh, throughout all night and hope to get as many hearts as possible. Yeah. Uh, when we are done and we go down to the door there to buy the holy water, we wanna have at least 150 after buying the holy water. Yeah. Pretty much. So what's gonna happen is, uh, so this and is um, this also is gonna level up soon. A good level up would be around three minutes. Yeah. So uh, one thing that I should note: uh, this game has experience, uh, but it uh, the experience that you collect is not upon killing an enemy of uh, a high enough level. It is upon collecting the heart drop of an enemy. So you don't always get experience. That is uh, quite tremendous in my opinion uh, but you know that is how this game works um, there's the level right. up that's look. hopefully fine yeah that's well that seems a little late compared to the three minute mark but uh, yeah, the, this game this the the the, the game uh, taketh and the game giveth um, uh, so sometimes that's exactly what it is yeah <laughs> sometimes it giveth away in such a way that the entire routing is just completely broken uh, because you have too many hearts. That happens too. Um, but in any case, uh, right now um, he needs 150 hearts. Uh, that was the magic number that he uh, he said a little earlier. And yeah, that af is after buying the holy water. So after buying we need the holy water, yes. 
uh, because 150 is the cost of uh, the chain whip. So uh, Simon Bellman just leveled up, as you saw, that replenishes his HP um, and that uh, rises his max HP and defense, but uh, his offensive skills are only uh, regulated by the whip that he has. And right now we have the leather whip, which is uh, the worst whip in the game. And the chain whip is about mid-game, mid-end like end of the game, I would say. So when he's going to uh, buy that whip, he's going to be like completely overpowered for the enemies that he's going to encounter next. There's actually a whip upgrade here in this town, but uh, oh. we don't want to get that. Yeah, I, I would I would assume that the chain whip is like the most worth it option to go for in a yeah, speed run. Yeah, absolutely. This one uh, cost a hundred, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> chain whip costs hundred fifty, and it's much better. Yeah, pretty much. It, it kind of works in powers of two somehow. And uh, the final whip in the game is is just like completely broken. Hey, I now for the moment of truth. How many hearts do we have? Okay, we should be okay, good. Okay, so the backup is at least working. Okay, so, so that drop, that drop is uh, very necessary. Right now, he's on a very tight uh, time limit because the yeah, backup so strat, the backup strat, pretty much requires uh, Burp to go from town to town uh, in during the same day. Yeah, so uh, merchants in town are only open during the day, so we need to rush it to the third town. Uh, yeah. We cannot have any movement mistakes, basically. It's gonna be really tight. Um, for this backup strat to work. Yeah. Or uh, else we're gonna have to lose three minutes. Yeah, pretty much. That is the kind of annoying thing with the, the day and night cycles in this. So uh, this needs a lot I of optimization. Touch the stairs there to execute this floor drop. Nice. Um, <laughs> The way floor drops work is um, you need like a, uh, a two tile gap between the floor and Simon. Yes. Uh, and also you need to have a good sub pixel and we don't know what the sub pixel value is, but we know which values work yeah. and we have setups for them and touching stairs resets that value so we can count uh, the jumps that we need to do from a staircase. Exactly. So pretty much any uh, drop that is going to happen before your very eyes will either be complete randomness because it happens like very rarely, but most of the time it will be a grammar uh, that starts with Simon Bellman either dies and respawns or touches stairs. And touches stairs is like the most common one, the most common one because <laughs> for obvious reasons. Okay, um, there's an important kill right here. Double kill? Yep. Okay, nice. got it. That was, that was pretty cool. It's always nice to see the chain whip having, having some sort of a back hitbox. Yeah, it's not much though. <laughs> so we should be good for the blue crystal that we are going towards right now. Yeah, so... I'll explain uh, a little bit what will happen. So we will gladly accept any heart donations by any of the enemies um, because we want a lot of hearts uh, throughout the run. Uh, these are like the chain whip is not the only object that we would need to buy. Um, we will go to different mansions and the exit to the mansions is actually uh, not possible unless you have certain key items. So right now Burb is going to access uh, this town and um, this merchant, who is quite a weird knight, actually accepts the white crystal, which does less than the blue crystal, and gives us a blue crystal. And the blue crystal does literally everything that the white crystal does, and also reveals the entrance to one of the mansions that we're going to go to. Maybe white is his uh, favorite color. I, maybe he likes white, yeah, exactly. <laughs> maybe he says, uh, maybe he thinks praise the sun. And he's uh, he's really into it. He he kind of has a night outfit. Here here he comes uh, right here. He's walking and we confusedly. Made it. Nice. So backup strat success. Yes. And now we're gonna do a drop. So set up here. Nice. And here's <laughs> the transition. <laughs> yeah, that is how tight this is. 
so I'm glad that the backup strat worked. Um, there actually is going to be another drop. So right now you might see he's not whipping while he's jumping. Because whipping, when you're jumping, actually affects your sub-pixel. Yeah, so you need to be very careful. Otherwise, we can't do that drop. Nice. That one is extremely satisfying because it saves about 20 seconds yeah. of having so to go through the entirety of the frame. Upcoming frame perfect trick here, let's see if we can get it. Yeah, it doesn't save a lot of time per se, but it is pretty satisfying to get. Okay, we okay, got one. one we, we got one out of two. That's, that's, uh, that's good. This is what the blue crystal does. Just kneel for five seconds, and there and you go. And yeah, we open up the lake. And this is uh, in a playthrough. I would assume that this is the second mansion. Yeah. But this is our first. Casually, uh, it would be your second. Uh, so right now, what's going to happen? Burb will uh, do something extremely weird. Uh, he'll get pushed by a block that is one of the only horizontally <laughs> moving blocks. That was nice. And uh, and that will uh, have a tendency to warp him. And when he will be in that weird state, he's going to buy, I mean, invest in an oak stake. And um, Okay, perfect pixel. All right, perfect pixel. Let's see. I don't think I, don't, I got it. I don't know, yeah. So invest in the oak stake. And if he goes left, something interesting maybe could happen. Yeah, it didn't happen. Yeah, so I will try it again. There's a backup for this. Yeah, it's, it's about 10 seconds slower. So... Oh. Oh, okay. What? Yeah, that can happen. Okay, that well, all right. That is a very interesting one. I guess I can explain what happens like roughly. So Simon Bellman is so far into the right that the game thinks that he's accessing a room that's on the right, but the room to the right doesn't really exist. Nice, nice double drop. Re redemption. That was that was insane. That was really good. Yeah. So. You can chain floor drops together, and each of them would be frame perfect, so they're pretty hard to do. Yeah. We're going to use the oak stake to um, destroy this orb, which reveals uh, Dracula's heart, I believe. And uh, we know process, according to the game's uh, broken language, Dracula's heart. Nice. And we're going to do the same thing that we did, except... Except there actually is a room to the right, and that was uh, where we came from. So we're going to come back. Every mansion, you will have to exit kind of manually. Okay, so because I did a backup uh, strat in the beginning, didn't get the... Uh, oh, that's that's right. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll explain I'm that. I'm so actually really short on experience, and I like to keep all of my lives for an upcoming part later in the game. Yeah. So I'm going to grind some experience here. All right, I'll just explain... Just for safety. Yeah, so experience is a different factor. Uh, as I explained, if, uh, your experience is linked to the amount of drop, the hearts, the heart drops that you get from the enemies. The enemies actually qualify as uh, of high enough level to give Simon uh, experience points. And that will get him closer to level two. And getting a level up is just basically raising your HP, but it also replenishes your HP. And there is quite a damage boost heavy strat that we're going to do. We're going to go through a toxic swamp. And the swamp is uh, rather... Uh, it, it damages uh, Simon throughout the entirety of it while slowing him down. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. So do we want to conserve uh, health and, uh, and lives as much as possible. Even though they don't like seemingly cost any time, you still have your items. You spawn where you were, but you lose all of your hearts. That three out of two. That's three oh, out of four. four. Nice. That was really good. Um, we're having a yeah. So we're gonna have a, another damage boost threat like much later in the run that will probably imply that we will lose a lot of lives because this is very uh, luck dependent. And um, basically, we will buy so many things up until the very last moment that we never won the game over. Uh, we have three lives, and um, game over would imply that we lose all hearts and experience that haven't been converted to anything. So, it would be quite a shame. Uh, I'm assuming right now, uh, Burp, uh. you don't have uh, enough HP to go through the swamp, right? I might 
might. Okay. If I jump a little bit. Oh, if you jump a little bit, then yeah. Then that could possibly work. We are work. really short on hearts, actually. For experience. Yeah. Even though I did grind. By any chance, is there time to sneak in a quick donation? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, go for it. All right, we got a $25 donation from Closet saying, Simon's Quest was the only game I was scared to play when I was a child, yet I couldn't stop playing. Good luck on the run, Barb. Thank you very much. Yeah, this game has been very uh, um, underrated for uh, what it was. <laughs> Especially having seen the Famicom Disk System one, I think this one uh, deserves a lot of praise for being just like loading the screen free and and just like you know, in, on a single cartridge which probably explains why uh, the the Japanese version uh, works very very differently <laughs> in some in some aspects um, there's a one more and I should be good okay. all right let's go so this is technically the first mansion in, the, in a casual playthrough. Uh, the enemies are <laughs> not strong enough. They're just going to succumb to uh, Simon Bellman's uh, chain whip. Um, and in the meantime, we're going to see some blobs. Um, they are very annoying. And uh, you will understand uh, the source of all the hatred that we have for the blobs. Um, they have four different jumps, and if there is a ceiling, they can choose to go to the ceiling. Um, and they can they can kind of ruin your run. They um, can jump through staircases. They can jump through staircases. They can actually uh, end up uh, like stuck in in uh, an infinite like scrolling reality where they just flicker uh, at the screen's edge. They're not fun. So right now we're gonna invest in an oak stake because it is a, a pretty good market uh, at this point in time in the in the lore, and um, and then uh, there's going to be a double floor drop. If hopefully, it works. hopefully if it works, and we're going to possess a Dracula's rib, which is a shield, and that will be used quite a bunch of times throughout the game. Nice. Amazing. I can't believe that. That is just, that is very, very good. Okay, equip the hook stake. The oak stake, <laughs> you should not waste it. Uh, if you actually, if your uh, D-pad has problems, as I've seen in one of Verb's streams, um, it can be extremely painful to just waste that, that oak stake away and just like lose fi 50 hearts for nothing. And I think a lot of people in their playthroughs have, have had that, that happen. Yeah. Sometimes I've, without even realizing. I've had attempts where I'm about to throw the oak stick and for some reason I get a left input on my D-pad and someone just <laughs> turns the other way. <laughs> it's just the oak stick things like, I actually I have to go, my people need me. I go to another planet. Oops. Oops. Yeah, knights are also <laughs> kind Knights of, are uh, pretty unpredictable. Evil. There's, yeah. A lot of the enemies are kind of a predictable. Uh, they demand a lot of uh, good, like, precise movement. And since we're kind of speedrunning... Uh, nice. Nice. That is that actually is one frame. Um, some of their movement uh, demands a lot of caution. And um, caution is something that comes in short supply in a speedrun. Alright, so I'm assuming since there is not enough HP, you are going to take a death at the swamp? No, I should have enough experience uh, to oh. level up on the screen. Interesting. Okay. Assuming I get dropped. <laughs> I just need like a uh, 2 or 3. Yeah. The game giveth, the game taketh away. Alright, uh, so far so good. Uh, do they give experience? Nope. Uh, Alright, well then. <laughs> Those are the ones that don't count. That's, this is why you get so many of them. Is there time for a few donations? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. 
We have a ten dollar donation from Biren Belmont saying donating for Master Burp. Thank you for helping to teach me this game and good luck in the run, buddy. Hearts please, blop please. Yo, Brian Belmont, thank you so much. Thank you. We also received a ten dollar donation from Shika Roxon saying, Yo Burp, show them the reason why two sweets are dominating the top five and good luck getting that quad drop. Whatever you do, don't pull a salve. <laughs> and if the run takes a turn for the worse, don't lose heart over it, Kappa. Also, bless RNG for the Bob the Blob. CV2 hype? Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so have you seen uh, um, Simon Bellman eventually uh, grew uh, a bit uh, more experienced and uh, that gave him a lot of health uh, that we're using for this. Yeah, so every second level up, uh, your health meter increases. Uh, but we're not gonna get any more level ups after this one. This is our last. Yes, regarding defense and firepower, we have pretty much another the long nice. jump. So regarding um, all of these uh, bits of data, we are fully maxed out for the speed run. Uh, right now, we're gonna be about like equal level to the enemies, and then the enemies are going to take more and more and more and more hits to 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 kill. And some of the bosses will actually deal quite a lot of damage for Simon Bellman's poor body. Speaking of uh, maxed out, I also maxed out hearts. Oh, you have 256? Yeah. That, that is pretty nice. Um, so what's going to happen here? This mansion is actually pretty packed with action. It contains uh, one boss. Uh, yeah, one this mansion actually has a boss. There's two bosses in the mansions Yeah. total. Uh, in the five mansions, don't ask me why there's no bosses in the other mansions, but... So, death uh, is in this mansion, and we will use a quick kill that consists of if the holy water touches the ground and an enemy at the same time, it just unloads a maximum amount of holy water into the enemy. And um, that is what we're hoping to get. But before that, there's going to be a pretty tight setup where uh, Burb will um, uh, drop out of bounds. Uh, this is not the one I'm right going now. back because I need to touch the stairs. Yeah, I think the setup was, to, uh, was broken. get the setup to work again. Oh, I missed it again. Yeah, Holy Water is not an extremely efficient way of attacking people. Okay. But at least so it gets the job done. So we got these this time. Yeah. Oh, good, uh, good point. Okay, right. there we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. So what you saw that, right that there, the that was the, the Holy Water glitch. And you'll see it on a much, much bigger enemy. But first... Dropping out of bounds, and then there's a three frame jump trying to come back in bounds. Ah, missed it. Ah. So it's not a huge problem, it just wastes a little bit of time. Um, we still have the day and night cycles, but fortunately, they don't apply in mansions or rooms. So right now, time is frozen. And um, here is good. death. Hello, Death. Fight. Nice. Goodbye, Death. <laughs> <laughs> so, the... Um, it would have been 30 whips to kill him otherwise. Yes. So he took quite a lot of damage, plus the holy water uh, doesn't deal that much damage. Killing Death was very important. You don't have to do it, but it gives you the golden knife. And the golden knife actually has... Uh, some interesting properties. It hits enemy twice. Three times. Uh, yeah. I actually meant three three times, lol. Um, oh, hello, Blob. He just wrapped around. Um, and uh, it costs hearts to use a golden knife for some reason. <laughs> Heart, you thought hearts were a currency. Now they're kind of a source of power. Um, and... Uh, we're investing in an oak stake for the next mansion because it's faster, and we're going to we're going to uh, clip through the ceiling here. So if you jump, the camera stops scrolling, so the blocks haven't spawned yet, 
And we're through the point. Um, we will... Oh, no, actually you do have quite a lot of hearts. So that will be crucial for Carmilla, which is uh, pretty much the next boss that we're going to fight. Uh, Carmilla, unfortunately, uh, is just a rotating face. <laughs> and... Uh, she won't be on the ground, so it will be impossible to use the Holy Water Glitch. Uh, which means we will have to do 60 whips. Um, or uh, 20 Golden Knives. Or tw 20 Golden Knives. And um, Because we have enough hearts, we're gonna use a Golden Knife, because that's better. Uh, technically, it's faster to whip her, but she is very heavy in RNG, and she can... Do a pattern where you can't hit her for literally forever. I've had her do it for 40 seconds, just wasting time. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, so we're gonna stun all her with uh, the golden knife. Yeah, I think it is the. Thankfully, it's gonna be the best solution. So, red crystal. Uh, we have another knight who likes blue. I guess uh, he likes the song. So he exchanges our lesser crystal for red one. Red one does everything that the blue crystal does, plus that uh, thing that everybody complained on the internet, the famous, the infamous uh, kneel for five seconds in front of a, of a cliff. We're gonna skip that though. We're going to skip that because we're gonna use a damage boost from a blob, which will warp us to somewhere we're not supposed to be. That is the uh, biggest RNG point in the game. Yes. So hopefully it goes well. You have three lives still, right? Yeah. And those two blocks here, they are glitched. They're not supposed to be there, but that happens sometimes because this game is dumb. <laughs> all right, here it comes. So it might happen that all three lives are wasted in here, which means there's going to be a bunch of grinding, uh, but hopefully nothing too serious. Good luck. Yeah. Here he comes. Uh, he doesn't want to come. Okay, that's the jump that we want. No, that he was too far. Oh. Nope. Okay, uh, hey, we got two more lives. Two more lives. All right. That is the jump that we want. That is not the jump that we want. No, that's not that's not high enough. That's not high enough. Oh. Yeah, his timing's all messed up too. So what you're seeing is pretty much like average blob block, I would say, in runs. Yeah. In the previous year it actually went exceptionally well, but uh Does not want to cooperate today. All right, we lost, we lost all of our hearts, yep. which means we're going to fight Carmilla the way that we despised and described as the slowest. Um, well, not technically, but if the luck isn't good enough, and we will hopefully we'll get this soon. Oh, he um, <laughs> he trolled you. He trolled you. There oh. we go. So since we game over and lost all our hearts, we're going to have to grind here. Unfortunately, this is intended to be the last mansion, so it has the strongest enemies. They take eight hits to kill with the chain whip because we skipped the uh, stronger whip. Yeah, the enemies, uh, they lag the game a lot, and they don't this, even deal that yeah. much damage, by the way, which this is kind of weird. This mansion is exceptionally laggy. Yeah. The deal between 1 and 2 HP uh, for a level 2, which is strange. Uh, Carmilla, however, uh, if you collide with her, Simon's uh, Simon's armor does not handle that very well. And um, I think she kills in 2 or 3 hits. Yeah, 2 hits. 2 hits. That's um, not bad. And um, 
we needed uh, the golden knife with a lot of hearts because the golden knife actually requires two hearts per throw so we will have to do the old-fashioned way um, the thing that we really want to make sure um, is uh, pretty much not dying until we get the oak steak uh, after Carmilla. Right now we already have an oak steak, right? Yeah, we have one extra life as well. We have one extra life, so that's I'm good. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, th th I, I think so too. Um, and the thing that's going to happen, we're going to uh, uh, break the orb with the oak steak, get Dracula's um, eye or nail, I I think, and then there it's it's the ring. We got the eye in uh, Death Mansion. Oh, okay, okay. The uh, um, last mansion is nail. And um, so if we didn't mention it, the uh, goal of this game is to collect body parts of Dracula, put them in a bag, put them on fire, resurrect Ra Dracula, and kill him. Pretty much. But actually, there are some extra plot items that seem completely useless that you absolutely need to unless uh, because if you don't have them you cannot access Dracula's castle uh, which is very fun when you discover that when you're a kid one of the items is actually the red crystal which is why we've been trying so hard to exchange it for a lesser crystal yeah and another item is the cross that you get in this mansion by killing Carmela exactly which is the only reason why we have to kill her is because that item is Absolutely necessary to access Dracula's castle yes. by the end of the game. Yeah. There are blocks that are unbreakable, um, and you can break them with the holy water only if you have all of the plot items, which is a little sucky. I think it's been investigated that it could be possible to go through the bridge without having to collect all the items, but uh, eh, I guess we're here uh, trying to fight. Uh, do you have uh... I have enough now. Alright, so... It's unfortunately, a very slow grind. We're gonna go to Carmilla's um, but, uh, yeah. lair. That's how this game is. It's a lot of luck. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, and a lot of uh, frame-perfect stuff. Speaking of which, there's a drop. Nice. Pretty good. So uh, there is some death individual who begs of you to take these laurels uh, because you're normally supposed to either use the red crystal or use laurels to go to Carmilla's castle, but there is not really a way out and the laurels give you uh, invincibility and that's um, that will be very important um, to escape this mansion. Uh, so here it comes. now we need good luck again. 60. That's good luck. That is the bad pattern. So she has only two patterns. You've seen like literally all that there is to see. Does that mean we have some time for donations? Yeah. I would assume so, yes. We have a $10 donation from Anonymous saying, Go get him, Burp. Here to see you kill this game. I think I know who that was. We received a $30 donation from Alexis W saying get your VVV VVVs ready early. Nice. We received a $5 donation from Shuri Bear saying shoutouts to the NES crew at ESA. Good runs and proud of everyone less than three. We also received a $150 donation from Anonymous. And the comment was, great run so far, lads. Shout out to Dave and the New Blood team for creating a fantastic game. Alright, Carmilla is done. This is over. So we have the Magic Cross. We're going to buy the Oak Steak, and then we will have bought literally everything that we need to buy for this uh, category. Uh, which is good, because now that means we can die however many times we want. The only downside of that will be that uh, if you game over, um, we won't be able to use the golden knife right away because it consumes hearts, but that's pretty much the only downside at that point. Let's see. Nice. Nice skip. Uh, oak steak. And we can breathe. <laughs> now we can dial however many times we want because we don't need hearts anymore. We're free!
Uh, experience doesn't matter at this point. We're, we will stay level 2. We have the Chain Whip. And we're pretty much going to go in front of a merchant. A weird, uh, shady merchant who could have upgraded a Morning Star for a Flame Whip, which is... Uh, which makes every boss pretty much trivial. I think it kills Carmilla in 8 hits? 16 hits. 16, alright. Yeah, makes all of the fights like much, much, much easier. But yeah. Okay, here now, now we're gonna go through the swamp here, using the laurels to not take damage because this is a really big one. Yeah, this is pretty much the intended way to go through the swamps. Uh, you're using laurels, which give uh, temporary invincibility. I think it's 10 seconds. 10 seconds, all right. So that's that that was 20 seconds? Wow. That's a that's a pretty long uh, section. Uh, we're going to get some damage boosts. So uh, maybe if you've seen the menuing, there are two laurels left and um, we can use them however we want. And that is uh, very good because uh, right now we're going to go during nighttime in some of the darkest places of uh, Dracula's world. And uh, the enemies deal a ton of damage. Sometimes they just like, they almost stun lock you. Um, their placement is just erratic. There's a tight jump. All right. Uh, we made it. Uh, so the laurels will... Um, there used to be a strat in which uh, the laurels will use, were used twice, so the two remaining laurels were used before going to Dracula. But I think there's a new strat that implies having like a laurel during Dracula, right? Uh, it's used for safety. I'm basically the only one who skips the laurel so far. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, the Dracula fight should be uh, well, should not require a laurel, but. Uh, you never know, especially if you've seen Dracula move. It's uh, it's quite a thing to uh, it's quite okay. a thing to witness. Floor drop. So we get it. One nice. and two. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that that was really good. So we've had exceptionally bad luck throughout this entire run. My execution has been Ex really good. Yeah, execution was really good. Looking at the time, it's all because of bad luck. Yeah. Yeah, that was quite uh, quite surprising. And that time, where we were th thinking, oh, we have a lot of hearts, and then the blob comes and just takes all of our hearts away, which is just... It's this game. Um, it is still, I would say, a pretty interesting thing to witness. And uh, from a spectator standpoint, like, like from from my standpoint, I I really enjoy watching this. Uh, I would also add that uh, Burb, you are the second on the leaderboards. Yeah. Yeah. The the first is um, JC actually, yep. who has uh, who has had uh, quite a reputation, I would say, in the uh, SRCOM world. Gonna game over because I don't want to lose hearts in a few screens. Mm. Hopefully, we'll drop one. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. We can use the gold one knife twice, and then we'll get some yeah, other hearts. Hopefully, heart. get some hearts here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. They're behaving. They're really behaving. They can be quite a liability too. Thank, thank Dracula's rib for actually reflecting that shot. That was the shield that we have. Oh, Medusa. Yes, Medusa. Uh, the next screen is uh, quite tight. Uh, I think it contains... Um, oh, we have daytime. Okay. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, um, but it could be that uh, during daytime, the enemies deal less damage. Uh, one thing that we know for sure is that they're twice as resistant during nighttime, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this part is quite a problem. Is the fireballs you will see so go kind of fast? That was a uh, golden knife uh, like glitch kill. Oh, interesting. He is not supposed to die that fast. Uh, all right, we got through that quite unscathed, I would say, and uh, that's good. That means no death. Uh, nice. Another glitch kill. Yep. Toxic Swamp. I uh, didn't get the last fireball. That's 
fine though. Okay. So normally you were supposed to use a Laurel. Interesting. It's the it's called the RNG drop because there's been so long since there were staircases anywhere that it's basically random that you get the drop whether you get the drop or not. Yeah, it's you you usually get it most of the time. Welcome to Dead Town. It's dead. It's black and white. And this little door right here, there's an old lady. If you talk to her, she says, let's live here together. So we're going to take it up here before Dracula. To get some hearts? To get some health. Oh. <laughs> Good. <laughs> health is a thing in this game. If you have zero of it, you die. Um, so this is the Laurel... This is Laurel 1 and Laurel 2. We're getting to Dracula's castle. There we go. Okay, so there is one final trick in this game that is extremely hard, uh, but I'm gonna try to pull it off. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And uh, right after that, there's gonna be Dracula quick kill. So everybody who complains about how Dracula is easy, uh, we will have to let him move so that we can try the quick kill with the holy water. And when he moves, I don't think I've ever seen, like, an official design of a boss this broken, ever. Uh, hopefully you don't get to see it a lot. Okay, so that's one drop. And... Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! It's too early on that last one. Oh, that is such a shame. Okay, so the fourth one skips the entirety of Dracula's castle, which is empty, by the way. He's feeling a little lonely. And dead, too, I guess. Nice. And, um... So, that... I was supposed to do four... Uh, yeah. Three, <laughs> four drops there. Three wastes time, compared to two or one, even, I think. Yeah. And uh, four is... It saves about 30 seconds. Um, no, it's actually more like 16. Ah, okay, 16, my bad. It looks like it might be more, but it's only 16. Okay, uh, quick kill. <laughs> Die, for God's sake. Yes, Laurel. <laughs> Jeez, are you, are you invincible? Oh my god. <sighs> He's, he, I don't. Well, oh, at least you get to try it again. Yeah. All right. You, <laughs> three, you have to top that. You have to top three. Are you kidding me? That is amazing. Wow. The game is, uh... The game is... Well, the game and the the, the, the destiny, I guess, is quite a sense of humor. Uh, the Dracula that we have has not been behaving. We've had terrible luck. All of the execution was like... <laughs> it was 99% correct. It's just the extra 1%, man. It's, it, it, it hurts. Um, Alright. Are you gonna try another quick kill or? Yep. Alright. That seems reasonable to me. Alright, let's see. There we go. <sighs> what a run. <laughs> Congratulations. That for like for everything that has happened, it is really good that it got underestimated. Yeah. So it was basically all bad luck except for the Dracula fight which I messed up the first time. Yeah. And the rest is uh, just bad luck throughout the entire game, but that's the way it is to run this I, game. This game has a lot of luck to it. Yeah. It has RPG elements and therefore quite a bit of RNG, but yeah, uh, hopefully you've uh, enjoyed it. It's probably the most recent heavy NES game there is. I mean, people complain about uh, TMNT, 
Uh, that one has a lot of resets and RNG, but this one is like four times worse. How many attempts do you have? Did you reach the five digits? Uh, yeah, I have like <laughs> almost 11,000 attempts now. All right, and yeah. And uh, like 170 completed <laughs> attempts. <laughs> and with that said, yes. I complete every run that make it past the blob, even if it's not PB based. Oh, so. Right. That number might have been like 50, otherwise. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right. Well, any extra word you'd like to add? Well, if you want to run this game, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you make poor life decisions. <laughs> <laughs> no, but ser seriously, though, we <laughs> will love more runners of this game, and we have a Discord, and we're really helpful, and we will help you out with everything. So come check it out. Check us out. Very interested. Well, Thank you.